Greetings and welcome to Spider-Man Gamport's channel. This time we're going to work on a Samsung Blu-ray player. Now, I've had it for a little while now, this particular model. I'm going to give you the model number right there. So you guys can zoom in. To me. There you go. Oh, I almost had it. There it is. You have it? Boop. There we go. Alright, I'm going to take the shell off carefully. Just to make sure that I don't ruin any of these ribbon wires because it does have a ribbon wire right here for the uh, top panel. And all I have to do is clean the optical lens on it. That's it. Just clean that optical lens. And I'll probably just sneak a Q-tip in there. Cotton swab. It seems like they built this specifically so that you uh, you wouldn't be able to uh, clean it manually. Like you literally have to take the whole entire thing out, or at least at least open the tray. I think this is going to get in the way. So yeah, you're getting pulled off of there. There goes the lid. Alright, so now we can see what we're doing. I'd like just to pull this tray right out. Hmm, I might plug it in and just hit the button. Give me a second here. There we go. I opened it up. Now I'll be able to reach all the components and stuff inside of it. see the inside of a uh, Blu-ray player. I should clean these tracks off too and some of the guide rails and all that. Make sure that there's no heavy pieces of you know just debris. No, I, I will be picking up a, another one of these eventually here. And just for right now, I want to uh, at least use this one tonight. I also have another one that needs to be cleaned as well. So most of this is just so that you guys can see what it looks like on the inside. And the power supply. You got your USB IRL. It looks like there's some features on here that um, it doesn't actually have populated. What would that be, I wonder? Bluetooth, maybe? Hmm. Fiber optic out, too. Looks like it's it's missing that particular part of it, the toss link. Well, either way, all I'm doing is just going to go ahead and clean that optical lens. stuff 
so that these rails all have some Molly B on it or lithium or wherever the electronic one is that would be best for it. doing is just taking the cotton bud. I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm trying to get the camera just right. And just sweeping over the top of it a little bit. Just to make sure that I get any dust or debris off of that lens. That's what I'm having issues with is disc read errors. So yeah, this might be a little bit of an odd angle to see it at, but you can notice the picture's going. It plays immediately now. So I'm very happy with just a simple cleaning of the optical lens on this particular Blu-ray player. Fixed the problems that I was having with it. I'll still have to get some... Uh, grease for those for the servo otherwise it's working very well before I would never even get to that point it would just tell me that the you know a disc read error on it Awesome. Thank you all very much for watching. Stay healthy. Be safe.